nice and simple. We've got some nice lean lamb meat here. And to that, we're going to add some nice chopped up apricots. Mm -hmm. Now, it's very North African to mix uh, dried fruit into your meat. Um, very, very traditional North, North African thing to do, very Moroccan. To that, because we haven't put much fat in, which is a good thing, to make it soft and bind well together, I'm just putting in an egg, mm -hmm. okay? And then I've got a little bit of garlic, and that's all the familiar ingredients. And then there's one not so familiar ingredient, which is a spice mix, if you'd like to smell it. Oh, that smells yummy. What's in there? Oh, that's very Moroccan, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like so a tagine called, type of so like smell. Exactly Cum right. It's got cumin in it? It will no, have cumin it in is. it. It has a whole mixture of stuff, including rose petals, nutmeg, mace, etc. This is called Razal Hanout. And you can be fairly generous with Can you with buy this. that already prepared then? Already prepared in supermarkets. Ah. If you want to have a go at making it yourself, do feel free to do Good so. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of people do make it themselves, particularly traditional Moroccan households. But mm. it's such an interesting way of adding heat without adding any spice. Mm. It's just beautiful. It's like the Moroccan version of garam masala. Okay, yeah. I've never heard of it before. You can mm. smell the rose in it actually. Yeah, yeah, it's very floral. So we mix that in nicely, just combine it really well, and then you shape them into nice little patties. Now, I always make these patties a little bit smaller because I'm always in a rush to cook stuff. So if you make them big, it just takes a bit longer. longer yeah. um, so it's nice to have them sort of this size um, so they go straight into the pan. And what we want to do is really get it nice and bubbly and crisp. Um, and we'll turn the heat up on there and get them nice and golden brown and charred on the outside, soft in the middle. So we'll just let those... So how long, I mean, once that sort of fat gets warmer, how long would that be cooking for, do you think, on each side before you turn it over? Do you know what? Only a couple of minutes each really? side. Yeah, three okay. minutes or so each side. You'll be able to tell. It will, it will smell and you'll see the whole room will be so perfumed mm -hmm. and fragrant. And then whilst you're doing that, you can always chomp on those apricots. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> keep um, going. Keep going. I always give my son these apricots when I'm cooking because I pretend they're fruit pastels. They love them. them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah which is quite sweets. a nice thing to do. I'll just give yeah. my hands a very quick wash. Okay. And then we're going to move on to the couscous, are we? We are moving on to the couscous. So this is just some couscous that we've prepared. Nice and easy, not hard at all to do. And what we're going to do is put in loads of herbs. So I've got some mint here. Mm -hmm. In it goes. Got some dill. We've got some parsley and some coriander. Okay. Wow, now this lot, looks like a lot. It is. But this tastes wonderful, and what we're doing... There's more herb than couscous, I think. Looks like you've emptied right. the lawnmower bag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? What we're doing really, though, here, Holly, is that we're using the herbs almost like a salad leaf. Right, OK. Rather than just a, a, a small mm. seasoning. I so find salad so dull. Um, but stuff like that, I absolutely Herbie love. Salad, it's yeah. got little bits of more interesting things yeah, yeah, in it. It's I just agree. lettuce, it just drives and me mad. it's so green, so you know this is good for you. Yeah. yeah. It's couscous though, I have a bit of an issue with couscous. But What's that? Do you? Well, maybe not after this, now it's been herbified. <sighs> Steph made couscous at the weekend, tried to make me eat it. No, no, no good. It was, it was, it was, it was good, it was good. But well, let's see, hopefully we'll packaging. change your mind today. What now, did you, you just always, put in there? Now, what we've put in there is some preserved lemons. So I wanted to show you these. They're so nice. They've been out for quite a while. They're quite traditional. Now, they're just lemons that have been preserved in brine. They, again, smell so oh, perfumed and wonderful. Yeah. You oh, see, yeah, it's, it's just like perfume. Mm. It's so, so nice. Um, it's not really got a very lemony taste to Shall it. Shall I do those for you? Oh, yes, please. There you go. Um, it's not so lemony as much as perfumed and scented. Yeah. A little bit bitter. A bit more, okay. And then just a little bit of lemon juice and some salt to your taste as well. Again, I don't like to add too much salt, but just enough to give it that little... All right, it's got about a minute and a half left now. Okay, so the next one is very easy. So what we do is we've got some aubergine pulp here. We've just roasted off some aubergines and some garlic. And then pulled out the, pulled out it all the out. flesh. And we're going to mix it all together. And that's quite easy, quite a lot of garlic. But you can tell, Holly, that these, when you roast them, they go really, really caramelised yeah, and soft lovely. and sweet. So they don't have that like acrid garlickiness yeah. to them anymore. And you add a couple of spoons of creme fraiche mm -hmm. and um, just one teaspoon of tahini. Oh, Not yeah. much. Tahini is a really good source of protein, which is pe what people don't realise, but it's quite strong. So we don't want this to just taste... Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. And tahini is what you put in hummus, isn't it? That's right. So this it's could nice almost... something else to use it for. Exactly. So this is almost like an aubergine hummus in a way. Pop some olive oil in there. And I like to put a li little bit of lemon juice as well, just to loosen it all up. And aubergine requires salt, 
So we're just going to put a tiny bit of salt in there and mix and it then all you're together. Off. And then well we're, good, we're good to go. Here we are, Chef. Okay, Thank I'm going to let you plate up. So plating again, it is very easy. What we do for these is put first of all our couscous at the bottom. Um, and you can be generous because this is nice Thank and you. healthy. So we'll put a little bit of aubergine, uh, sorry, couscous in the middle. We'll top that off with these little razzle hanout and apricot what are they patties. Called? Razzle hanau and apricot lamb patties. So we'll put three there Rizzle for cakes you. to us. <laughs> Razzle hanau. I need Which to remember that. That's mix. that spice, isn't it? Yeah. Razzle hanau. Okay, I need to and then write that down. A little bit of this aubergine on the side. It smells delicious. Can I, I can't not start. Can I start? Go on, you start. And then I'll spoon on this the This looks delicious. We'll put the recipe that. for that on the website. But Absolutely. That's so this is just some radishes with some lemon juice and some pomegranate. It's and so That's so a great jewelry. colour as well. Yeah. Go for it, I'm going to have that the one I just so cooked. Good. That is so good. That lamb. Mm. Flavour's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Thank glad you, you very I'm much. I'm not saying anything till I've had a mouthful. Yeah. <laughs> have you tried it yet? It's delicious. Mm. Isn't it? Mm. And it's a perfect light lunch. Oh, you can have it for That's dinner. That's really well, lovely. I see why you were the winner when you opened that. Well done, you. Well Thank done. you so much.